Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and remove user accounts on um, Dell Inspiron 15. In order to create or remove user accounts, you should go ahead uh, into settings and then find accounts. Here, if you scroll down, you'll find other users and you can click on add account. Then, uh, at first, it will show you the Microsoft account login screen. So if you want to go ahead and start with a Microsoft account, it's fine. You can just hand uh, the laptop over to that person that will use the account. Um, that, but I don't really think that's um, convenient. So personally, I would suggest clicking I don't have this person's sign in information, then click on add a user without Microsoft account. And if they want to log in later with the Microsoft account, they can do that um, in the settings and they will probably be asked about it later. Um, but it just isn't mandatory. So let's create a standard local user. Enter the name of the user, then you can enter the password. If you leave these two fields blank, the user won't have a password, but it isn't secure since everyone will have access to uh, your computer that way. So it's better to add, an, uh, add a password. Then um, there are free security questions which need to be um, answered and I highly uh, recommend uh, answering truthfully just so you don't remember the answers to these questions later because in case you do then there will be no way to restore that account. Um, so let's just select any, um, any answer that you'd like uh, but make sure you answer it truthfully so you just don't forget the answers because if they are made up then probably you'll forget them then click on next and that user is created in case you want to delete it later you can click on this down arrow and click on remove you can also change account type to administrator but only do that if you have a reason for it if you don't then probably leave it on the standard user but you need to know that if it's set to standard user then they won't be able to install any apps besides the ones from the microsoft store so um just decide on that um of course they can um, install apps, but they need to have uh, your account, your admin account password. So probably you'll just need to enter it for them if you don't want to share your password with them. Now I'm going to show you two ways to relog into that user. The first one is going to be from, from lock screen. So in order to get to lock screen, click on the start button and click on power icon, then click on lock or you can also click on Windows and L on your keyboard. So just the Windows sign and L at the same time. Now, if you go to the slogan screen, you'll find another user right here in the bottom left uh, corner and you can enter its password. Click on enter. And the first slogan will take longer than um, usually, but um, after that, it'll just work fine. It just has to um set up a few things now you can answer these questions these privacy questions and click on accept once you're uh, set up and we are logged in and if you want to re-log in while being logged into one of the accounts then you can click on the start button click on the account you're currently on and click on three dots then select that other user now you may need to enter the pin or password and you're logged in. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.